Hi, I'm Amanda Rachel, uh, inventor of the Bella Bun, here to show you a little bit what to expect when you receive your Bella Bun in the mail. It'll arrive in a standard shipping box, something like this. Just open it right up here. Admire it for a moment. <laughs> and this is what it looks like when it arrives. If you order filler from us, you will receive a few of these, uh, depending on what size you order for your poser, will depend on how many bags of filler you receive. But basically, you'll want to turn to the back here and open the Velcro closure. Go ahead and untape your bags. I'm going to put my poser down for a second. Trying not to rip open the bag because it's easier if you keep it intact. Twisty the little ties. Take the end of the bag here and hold that. And open your Velcro closure right here. Tuck the end right in there. That's what I like to do. And start filling. It's much easier with two people, but it can be done with one here. Just give it a little shake until it's all out. It takes a few moments, but you only have to do it once. <laughs> all right, so we've got this about three quarters of the way full. We've got maybe just over two, two and a half bags in here right now at the moment. So at this point, we'll just open it and we'll kind of tuck them in a little bit right down there. And push them against the edge here. And take the rest and start in again. When I get to this point, I like to put the extra down for a minute, close it up, and see how it's doing. Each photographer will have a different amount of fill they prefer in it, but basically give it a little, little shake and start packing it down. It's that easy. If you'd like it a little bit firmer, you can open it back up and put a little bit of your extra in until you get it right at the level you like. Um, when you're done, you just pat down the curves. So your ultimate goal here is to have the uh, two different posing contours, one slightly higher than the other, but both of them pretty firm, um, once again, depending on your style.